Hi everybody. All right, getting the lights, camera, action going. So, a uh, short little video here. We're going to do the anatomy of a quick tour around Oakland while I was doing some landing practice. Here we are at beautiful runway 33. So, taken off, got the full power in. We're at 30 inches. As you can see, I just pulled off in like five, six seconds there. So, uh, the wind was really brutal today. Normally, at about this point, I would throttle back to 25 squared, but I just wanted to get up to pattern altitude as fast as I could because it was, it was variable winds at 6 in the surface and like variable at 10 knots up high, and I just wanted to get out of it. So 400 feet, doing the turn to downwind. We, we have a noise abatement agreement with the island of Alameda, so we're always uh, trying to be flying neighborly. So at this point, I get into the downwind, I'm definitely at 100 knots, and w what I try to do in this plane, so in this particular aircraft, I throttle back to about 13.8 inches at full prop. Well, no, I'm sorry, at 2500 RPM. That gets me about 100 knots. And once I get to about the numbers, generally about 500 to 1,000 feet before the numbers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throttle down. Well, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to push the prop in. I'm going to throttle back, and I'm going to start losing some out or start losing some speed here, and also kick in the first two notches of flaps. So what I'm looking for is about 85, just for my initial descent. I'm trying to keep it at about two to 300 feet a minute. And of course, I trim back out. As I turn uh, base here, I start looking both at the runway for birds, because a lot of birds like to uh, like to soar above for some reason the, the eastern end of Oakland Airport. And I start looking down uh, final to make sure that there's no one coming down final. And I will also pop in that uh, second notch of flaps, or the or get into uh, the final version of flaps. At that point, I'm trying to chase, uh, not chase 80 knots, but I try to trim out for about 80 knots, and I actually have to wind up putting in a little bit of more power, uh, usually around 13, about 2,000 to 2,100 RPMs, depending on, on my sink rate. Again, this is all preliminary, so this is only like the third time I've gone flying pattern work with the plane. Uh, still trying to hit the numbers. It's kind of tough, but you know, I, I, I mean, I absolutely love it. So here we are in final. Everything looks good. A little bit of crosswind this day. Well, I say crosswind. It was it was variable, so the crosswind was coming from both directions. But mine. So my final numbers on this plane is I'm trying to cross the fence here at 75 knots. That gives me more than enough. I've got a little bit of extra speed. I do float a couple hundred feet, but you know, no biggie. Here you can see a nice little one wheel left and then landing. So yeah, that's the anatomy of a quick go around at Oakland. Uh, the next one wasn't so good because my dumb ass, so I got sent on a long downwind and trying to make up time to get back to the airport. Basically what happened was in my G3X I have the uh, flap settings so that I can't extend the full flaps above 80 knots. I've confirmed with Vans the flap extension speed of 100 is for any setting of flaps, not just approach flaps. So I removed that because I'm on a long final and I'm at like 82 knots and I try to extend the full flaps and it wouldn't do it. And I'm staring and I'm clicking, I'm clicking the flaps and I'm staring at the flaps I'm like, well oh, that's not good. That's not good in any way, shape, or form. So that was my last landing for the day. I've eliminated that setting, and it is not needed. So <clears throat> Anyway, just wanted to give you guys a video. Uh, testing is going good, uh, or at least it is over the airport. I hope to venture out into the Central Valley later this week. So thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.